Hi everybody, Miss Melinda here, your spiritual worker from Miss Melinda's Metaphysical Services.com. This is a video report for my patrons uh, about a recent group spiritual service dedicated to Saint Philomena. I'm going to be sharing this video on YouTube as well, just to share a little bit of additional information about my work and my group spiritual services. So our service dedicated to Saint Philomena was dedicated to illumination, dedicated to light, dedicated to bringing in light into those shadowy parts of our lives and those shadowy parts of our minds and our hearts. I've been doing a lot of um, work associated with illumination, associated with bringing in light. I do want to make the distinction that I am not a light worker. I do very much believe in the balance of light and dark. I do not focus specifically on working lights, working with light. The way that I'm working with light here in these services, such as the, the service for St. Philomena and also the work that I do with St. Lucy. I work with St. Lucy heavily. The way that I'm working with light in those services is more about revealing hidden truths, revealing knowledge, revealing wisdom, revealing... Um, <sighs> It can be wisdom about ourselves, things that we keep hidden to ourselves, um, defense mechanisms, modes of behavior, patterns of thought that need to be revealed so that we can grow. It can be um, obstacles or challenges that need to be revealed so that we can overcome them as part of the process in accomplishing our goals, petitions, and projects. It can also be a, a um, revealing secrets, revealing hidden knowledge in the way of occult knowledge or spiritual knowledge, spiritual growth. Um, also in terms of divination, revealing what is hidden to us, um, revealing the messages that are there from our spirit guides, revealing the guidance that is there from our ancestors, revealing um, those spirits and deities who wish to work with us and how we can best work with them and how we can grow, develop, and strengthen our spiritual connection and our relationship in, in that way. So that's the way that I'm working with um, illumination and the energy of light. Um, Saint Philomena is very much related to a kind of um, maiden energy. I am a universalist, so I do see the ways in which these spirits, saints, and deities are related to one another, and I do honor that. I honor her as a maiden kind of energy, as in one of the um, parts of the threefold goddess. So she's youthful. She's youthful. She has an energy of innocence. She has an energy of... Um, carefree exuberance, but with laced with an innate knowledge, right? She would, she's one of these people who would have been or was born with a innate sort of um, spiritual knowledge and connection, a um, young, wise person. Um, I guess you could relate that to the, the kind of thing people talk about when they speak about like indigo children, uh, things of that nature. That's sort of the way that I would see her. So in honoring St. Philomena, um, I've been working heavily with a lot of you on um, breaking free from old patterns, breaking free from challenging habits, um, breaking through obstacles. Uh, finding ways to look at situations differently so that you can um, see what needs to be tweaked, see what needs to be adjusted in order to attain your goals or attain your pe your petitions. Um, it's important to look at all kinds of uh, steps that need to be taken in order to achieve a certain goal or achieve a certain petition. And that's why we work with the cycles of the moon, and that's why we, we work with things from different angles, right? So we work on removing the blockages associated with the situation, um, renewing our intentions, as well as as growing energy, manifesting and drawing in energy. We work with banishing, 
drawing and um, all the things in between. So if you sit down and think about um, any kind of goal or project that you have, if you really break the steps down step by step, you can see different things that need to be addressed in order to achieve a long-term goal, right? A, a big goal is going to take many little steps, and that's going to mean working with different kinds of energies throughout those steps. Um, one of some of those steps should always definitely entail anything that you need to break three, free from or overcome in order to move forward. Usually we have to let go of something. It could be a way of thinking. It can be a habit, a behavior, a pattern, a relationship. It can be bigger things. It can be jobs, it can be things in the physical world, etc. But usually we need to let go of some things in order to make our progress. So um, that's one of the things that illuminators are good for is showing us what needs to be let go of, showing us how to let go of those things, showing us different perceptions and different ways of looking at those kinds of challenges and and approaching um, our releasing, approaching our banishing. Right? So now for the details of the service, St. Philomena's candle was carved with all of your, your, she was dedicated to all of you. She was dedicated to my patrons as usual. So I did carve her with my patrons. Um, she was also dressed with my personal blend of spiritual blessings oil, which I make for my services and which I use to help heighten and strengthen the spiritual connection as well as draw in blessings. She was loaded with a new uh, conjure powder that I have made. It's a botanical blend called Conquer and Success, specifically for conquering situations and gaining success as well as dominating certain fields. Um, uh, can be used for overcoming competition. Uh, it can be used for just dominating your circumstances. It can be used for um, gaining success in money and business specifically. I used it here just for gaining success and conquering our goals and petitions for this service. I offered St. Phil Philomena nine, excuse me, six, six black backup candles which were dressed in the same oil and dusted in the same conjure powder. They were, I used black specifically for the purposes of um, releasing, banishing, absorbing negativity and releasing and banishing those things that we've spoken about. I surrounded the candle with patchouli. Patchouli is a precept precipitado. It does add strength and energy, power, and speed to any spiritual service. Underneath the main vigil candle was placed your paper petition with all of your names, birth dates, and goals. The entire candle set up in a service like this is an offering to spirit, is an offering to the saint. However, I did leave additional offerings of fresh water, two cups of fresh water. In addition, I always offer sacred smoke. Um, recently, I'm working a lot with sandalwood again. I did use that during this service. Prayers of honor were given to St. Philomena, followed by three sets of prayers said on behalf of each patron. And energy was sent in your direction through meditation, spiritual connection, energy work, and chanting. The candles burned really well. The backup lights burned uh, a little bit slower than usual. I think that that is normal sometimes when we're working through releasing or balance, uh, banishing Um the candles seem to really take their time. They seem to be working hard. The flames were strong. The flames were high and strong. No problems with the energy. Um, just the candles were really taking their time. The wax remnants from the service were good, um, meaning the signs were good. There were no signs of blockages, obstacles, negative conditions that we need to be concerned with. There were no um, jagged wax formations or anything of that nature. Everything was contained, very much contained, in little circular patterns right where the candles burned. That is a positive sign um, for being free from blockages as far as the service is concerned. 
Um, the candle is a visual candle, as I mentioned, the main one used in the service. It will remain on my altar until it is fully extinguished. You and your goals and your needs will be kept in my prayers and meditations until this candle is fully extinguished. You will be notified with a brief and final report when it is complete. It's currently burning pretty well. We can see it there um, by my Guadalupe statue. It's the big pink candle. It's a little bit larger than some of the candles I usually use. It's a 14-day candle instead of a 7-day candle. And it does have some really nice high-quality wax, so it burns a little bit slower than some of the other candles. Um, so I'll be keeping you updated on that when it's complete. You can expect maybe like somewhere between 8 to 14 days probably for that. Um, as I said, the energy of the service was good. All signs are positive. I do really enjoy working with St. Philomena, and I hope that you enjoy her presence and her influence in your life as well. To complete the reports, I'm going to go ahead and pull a card for us just to receive any kind of guidance or information that we may need pertaining to this service and how to work in our regular everyday physical lives to manifest these goals and petitions that we're working towards. I'm going to be using the Morgan Greer deck. So give me one moment to pull a card and see what comes up here. The Hermit. Okay, the Hermit card. I love this card. Like I said, I feel like I say that about all the cards, but it's not true. Um, I don't dislike any of them, but I don't love them all equally. The Hermit card is a great card for illumination, obviously. Um, what I love about it is that it can indicate a kind of spiritual retreat, but it doesn't have to be as big and as intense as that it can be a um it can be more casual it can be more chill more laid back um but what it is about is an illumination of yourself um just like we were just talking about with this service it's about having new revelations about yourself having new revelations about the patterns of your life the patterns of your behaviors looking at it from a real objective standpoint and with a spiritual or philosophical perspective and not only being able to see these things and come to new realizations and recognitions about yourself and your life, but also having the ability to actually put those into action in a way that influences your everyday life in a positive way. So, a couple of things here. This card indicates that it's a good time to be doing that. For those of you who may be facing challenging circumstances or may be working on really big goals for these services, it's a good time for you to take some extra time to um, really contemplate really contemplate those goals, really contemplate um, how your lifestyle, your habits and behaviors fit in with or do not fit in with working towards these goals and where maybe you might need to tweak something or how things can be changed. And the good thing, the good news is that this card indicates that the energy surrounding us right now is conducive to actually problem solving in a proactive way. So it's not like you're going to be sitting there trying to think about this and just beating your head against a brick wall. This is more like you will have illuminations. You will have um, wisdom revealed. You will have light bulb moments. You will have recognitions that will really be helpful to you. So take some extra time to meditate or pray or just sit down and think and spend some time alone. Um, however you like to approach that kind of activity, whatever works for you. Also, if you're feeling a little bit lonely right now or you're spending a lot more time alone than usual, perhaps um, because of circumstances that were not your choice, don't worry. I mean, obviously, if you're lonely, yes, that's difficult to get through. But my point is try to use some of that time proactively because it's a good time for this inner contemplation. And if you are have been thinking about 
faults about yourself, um, things that you don't like about yourself or mistakes that you've made or faults that you would like to change, that's fine. Everybody has faults. Um, you can accept that about yourself. Do not beat yourself up about it. If you've been beating yourself up about anything, now is the time to let it go because what you want to be doing is focusing on the the result that you want. Focus on the growth. Focus on the progress that you want to make, not on the stuff that you don't like. Whatever you focus on is going to grow. So focus on the pro the the um the productivity. Focus on the progress. Focus on the growth and the goal. Um, focus on what you want and the positive changes that you want to see within yourself. It's um, much more beneficial to do work on yourself when you're coming at it from a positive standpoint rather than beating yourself up about things that you don't like about yourself. So, all right. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for participating in the Patreon services. And I hope that you have enjoyed the video. I hope that you're doing well. Don't forget, I've got a full moon service tomorrow. We've got a full moon service tomorrow. And it's going to be honoring sacred goddess energy. It's going to be honoring the divine feminine. We're um, getting back to basics with these full moon services. If you haven't got your petitions in yet, please do that now. Stay blessed.